Hey yo everyone, this is a Happy Animate Cafe Manager here. Welcome to the new year. It's 2016. And no, we still don't have flying cars. Anyway, it's Severus' turn now. Okay, this is the last of the female contest winners. So this is the place, is it? What's her deal calling me here in the middle of battle? This better be good. Oh, come on in. There you are, Severa. Thanks for coming. Since you've been selected as one of the world's most popular ladies, the bathroom has decided to present you with this commemorative yukata. And after you try it on, we've got another little surprise waiting for you too. <clears throat> oh, w well, new clothes are always nice. And what girl doesn't like surprises? Uh, but no, I don't have time to hang out and play dress up while. Oh, then hurry up on in here. I hope you get your yukata on. Huh? Ah, <laughs> hey, I never said I'd do it. Qu quit pushing me, will you? I don't have time for this. What is wrong with you? Now my hair and clothes are a mess. Keep your damn hands to yourself. Oops, sorry about that. I wasn't about to just let you run off, you know. Not before I could see you in the Yukata I picked out for you. What? This looks... familiar. Yes. It should. The pattern is based on the color that your mother always wears. I'm sure they'll look wonderful on you. Care to try it on? <laughs> I suppose I could humor you. But make it quick, you hear? The others are waiting. Thanks! I wouldn't have it any other way. Now hop on over here. <sighs> fine, fine. Hmm. Huh? Well, at least you seem to know what you're doing. <sighs> you embarrass me with your praise. Now for the finishing touch, let's get your hair dyed. What? Let's what? You already messed up my hair, now you're changing its color? Mm -hmm. Sure am. When a lady wears a yukata, her hair should sparkle like a starlit sky. I'm actually a natural redhead. You know, just like my sisters. But I dyed my hair with a special elixir designed to accentuate my yukata. Come on, this is your chance to be at the forefront of contemporary fashion. Fine. <sighs> I suppose it wouldn't kill me to try out a new look. But don't think you suckered me in with that forefront of fashion nonsense. <laughs> Noted. Now sit still for a moment while I apply the elixir. <laughs> Ugh, what the hell? It's cold and yet somehow it burns. G get that stuff away from me. <laughs> hey, that's the price you pay for beauty. Hold tight just for a little longer. The color is about to change. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Whoa, it really did change. This is so weird. Ooh, Ooh it looks great on you, Severa. Come on, let's get back outside. <laughs> hey, take it easy, would you? What's with all the pushing? Fine, we're outside. Are you happy? So what's with the verdict? Yay, nay? <laughs> oh, definitely yay. You look gorgeous, Severa. You're every bit the beauty that your mother is. Fine. Please spare me the sales pitch. I don't hold a candle to my mother. I'm sure the Yukata you chose for me would look a lot better on her. Mm? Well, you pro you're probably right about that. See, I knew it. No. Hehe, <laughs> that's not what I mean. See, you cons look better on, well, let's just say smaller women. They're not exactly ideal for those with ample proportions. Huh? Huh? Are you serious? <sighs> I guess Mother wins again. She's a, as flat as an undented kite shield. Hmm. Are you mocking her or admiring her? It's kind of hard to tell sometimes. <laughs> Can it? Can't it be both? But wait a minute. Wait, but wait a minute here. Are you trying to say I've got bigger ones than her? Yes. As far as I could tell, that not that yours are worth writing home about either. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, interesting. Very interesting indeed. <laughs> At long last, Sebra comes out on top. I finally bested her in something. Ooh. Well, not to rain on your parade, but 
Remember how this little chat started? Your mother's modest chest is the reason she wears the Yukon so well. So isn't that a win for her? What? Hey, can I have a moment to savor my triumph before you nitpick it to pieces? Aren't you a merchant? What happened to the customer always being right? <laughs> <laughs> Forgive me, Sabra. Teasing you is just too much fun. And I re and I really was just teasing earlier. You look spectacular in that Yukon. Even more beautiful than your beloved mother, if I may be so bold. <gasps> Would you just stop talking? Your hollow flattery makes me ill. I see how it works. You build me up so you could tell me that you caught it right. Let me sell me that you caught it right. Ugh, turn around. I'm changing back. You could keep your precious you caught it. My, my. She sure is cute when she gets flustered. <laughs> Ah, uh, that- look at this, you folded the you up the Yukata perfectly, thanks Sephra. <laughs> Don't thank me for that, it's common sense. By the way, what's with my hair? It's already changed back to its usual color. Mm -hmm. Alright, it's just a short term elixir for sample purposes. If you like, I'd be happy to apply another dose. <clears throat> thanks, but- no thanks. I did like the color, but I'm pretty sure my natural color is already the forefront of contemporary fashion. Heh, <laughs> <laughs> fair enough. It is the same color as your father's hair after all. That's got nothing to do with it. I just like the color is all. Anyway, I have to go, but listen. Mm -hmm. Yes? Thanks. Just, thanks for the little dress up break. It was kind of fun. In a lame sort of way. <laughs> Anytime, sweetheart. I'm glad you came. You got two more in the way. Gotta have old Wayne lined up. See that practice uh, set. <clears throat> Oops. <laughs> I practice, it's all she said. Ooh, they're coming everywhere. They came. They came everywhere.
You risen stick out like sore thumbs in a place as tranquil as this. Seriously, can we not even take a bath in peace? Oh well, a shepherd's gotta do what a shepherd's gotta do. Slaughter the lions. Like David. Oh man, poor Lucina. <laughs> the fifth turn right now so after the eighth turn have Sabra talk to Lucina what? was that a good side or a bad side Sabra oh Lucina hello I was just caught up in watching the steam rise off the poles. It's mesmerizing. It really is. Brings up all sorts of memories. I don't need to tell you that most of them from the future aren't happy ones. Yes, I, I can imagine. When we arrived in this time, my first thought was, wow, our parents had it easy. I mean, just look at all, all they have. We grew up on the tales of their struggles, but old war stories are always embellished. But then I took a closer look and saw them working harder than we ever did. They're even more amazing than the stories make them out to be. I agree completely. We still have so far to go before we can call ourselves their equals. Each day I'm reminded that we're still just children. What? Excuse me? What are you babbling about? You don't count. You're an exception. Huh? Sorry? You're freakishly strong, smart, and charismatic. I guess that's breeding for you. No. Oh, I'm hardly. Ugh, immodest. Just stop already. Just between us, there are times when I really struggle. What, really? Of course, any boons aside, the Exalt's bloodline brings with, with it a crushing weight. Not a day goes by that I do not flinch under the weight of others' expectations, or still worse, on my, my own. Huh, even the mighty Lucina has her moments of yes. doubt. I'm only human. Still, I try my best to see lineage as an opportunity to do good, to make change. <laughs> That's something inherited from my father as much as the blood we share. <laughs> that resemblance is apparent. I wonder if that optimism isn't the real legacy of the Exalted Line. Perhaps I would be pr proud if it were so. And Lucina says... Again, several more like still. Mostly, I've decided to stop bothering to hide, hide it around what? you. Hide what exactly? They're not the only one with insecurities or a full-blown inferiority complex. What? Why? Why should you feel inferior? You're Cordelia's daughter. She's hailed as a genius, and those doing the hailing are impressive enough as it is. No daughter of hers has any cause to feel inadequate. Yes, I'm fe quite familiar with my mother's talents, thanks. That's just a problem, I fail to inherit any of them. I try and try and I still feel like I'm just barely keeping up. Several. But I can't even get anyone to acknowledge my effort, either. Whatever I do, it's because I'm the great Cordelia's daughter. That's how it's always been. Oh sure, swans are all beauty and grace above the water's surface. But no, nobody bars to notice they're flailing their legs j like mad just to keep afloat. In the old story, it's a little... It's the little swan that has the most trouble seeing how beautiful it is. Yep, that's me, an ugly duckling. Except I'm not going to magically grow up to be like my mother. So 
I didn't mean. That was thoughtless of me. No, it's fine. You're right. Anyhow, you know, that's all I need needed was for one person to know. If I'm the only one who knows, let me be the first to say this. Yes. Severa, your strength is a product of your own hard work and dedication. Cordelia is an amazing woman, but you have a light in you wholly distinct from hers. I've seen with my own eyes. Time and again in the battles we fought past and future. I'm sure the others have as well, and I hope they could see where the credit for that lies. Thanks. Lucina, thank you. It feels good to hear that, especially from you. I feel vindicated. Would you maybe want to do this again sometime, Tonk? I mean, just the two of just us two. We could unload all of our pent up complaints about our perfect parents. What? what? I, I don't have any complaints about mine. Hmm. No, you're no fun at all. Well, whatever, you could sit there and listen to me, then I've got enough for both of us. <laughs> I don't doubt it. Alright, let's hurry up and get through this battle. Then it's into the bath for some girl talk. Hmm? What are we here? Victor? Hmm? Oh, hey, Nyogo, did you find your memento? I think so. There was a pebble in the shallows. It was a pur purplish hue that it really evokes the springs and foliage. I think it's perfect. It's lovely. I'm glad you were able to find something. Me too. I'll not forget this trip as long as I have this. I'll treasure it always. Oh, I didn't realize these mementos me meant quite so much to you, Inogo. They do. Well, not the memento so much as the memories behind them. I'm still rather shy of, on fun memories, you see. The future wasn't exactly a happy place. Even after coming here, this stretch of time before I met up with all, you all was difficult. Y yes, of course. Plus, once peace was, is won, that's it. Whether we're able to return to a spared future or not, it was. it will still mean goodbye. I'm eager to tuck away all the good memories, but I can before that happens. What do you mean it's goodbye, even if you can't return? It won't be much longer until I'm born in this world, a real me, I mean. I have no place beside him. It would, wouldn't be right. That puts a pretty tight limit on the time I have together with you all. <laughs> it's going to get awfully quiet. You know, though. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to ramble on. I'll ju be just fine. I've got this stone. It'll see me through any lonely nights, I'm sure. Really, I'm just happy I was able to find something. Hey. Can I see it for a moment, the stone? Mm -hmm. Oh, sure, here you go. Yeah. Yeah. What? Well, did, did you just... What is this, some uh, new game you were... You may make uh, me go fetch my prized possessions? That's no prize, Inogo. You don't need it. Sorry. Right. You think you could lock away all your happy memories in that rock and stew in solitude? If so, I think you need to think yes. again. Victor, that isn't your... Yeah. If you need to feel lonely or if you want to see us, then just do it. Come and see us. If time and our circumstances ever split us up again, it's our job to come back together again. Victor, hey. or what? You think we, we treat you like some kind of inconvenience, some burden? Is that, some, is that the sort of people you think we are? That bonds that we share are that flimsy? <sighs> I don't think that. I don't think either of those things. I could never feel the, that way about any of you. Oh. That's simple, isn't it? You could come back to us whenever you like. And don't ever talk about making memories while you still can. We've an amazing future ahead of us, full of all kinds of fun experiences. In fact, our responsibility to make that future. That's why you came here, isn't it? Quite. It is. You're right, obviously. I shouldn't be thinking about bottling up my happiness to drown it out in my sorrows later. I should be making memories as a record of how we built our future where I could be happy. Alright, seems like we've got our work cut out for us. For stars, we'll have to make the most of these springs after the battle's through. You'll join me, won't you, yeah. Victor? You couldn't stop me if you tried. After all, no one needs a set of happy new memories more than I. Haha, <laughs> true, and thank you. Even if our past should someday, 
I mean, even for past should part someday, I feel that as if today's memories will keep me. I'll be able to live with a smile knowing I was able to share in all of this with you. But if I still get lonely from time to time, I'll come knocking on your door. I hope that whenever that is, no matter how many times it happens, you'll let me in. That you'll be there to say, welcome home. Phew, man, that took forever. Well, anyway, thanks for watching. Until next time, to be continued, baby.